Hello and welcome to Checkpoint Cloud Guard Kubernetes Onboarding and Cloud Security Posture Management Training. This training assumes the audience have basic understanding of Kubernetes and Cloud Security Posture Management or CSPM. Today, I will be deploying a simple cluster on Google Cloud Platform and then I will be onboarding it onto our Cloud Guard platform where I will be setting up CSPM for the training. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm in my GCP platform with the Google Cloud Console enabled, and there are no clusters as of uh, on my project right now. So let's go ahead and deploy a simple cluster right now. So this command, I'm going to create a simple a cluster named CGK8 lab in the US East 1B region. As you can see, the cluster creation has started. We will wait for a few minutes before the cluster is created. As you can see now, the cluster has been successfully deployed and it is in a good running status. So now we will proceed to onboard this cluster onto the Cloud Guard platform. So under the Cloud Guard platform, you have a tab called the Assets. If you get if you navigate under Assets, you will have the Environments, which will be the landing page, and you can go ahead and click on Add New to add your start onboarding your Kubernetes cluster. Once you have selected Kubernetes as your desired account to onboard, go ahead and provide it a, a cluster name. Choose an API key and provide it secret. If you don't have one, I would recommend you guys to go ahead and create an API key and secret and use it for deployment. The default namespace is provided as checkpoint. If you want to change your namespace, please go ahead and change it. And the default option for posture management is already pre-selected. So the next page, you'll be given an organizational unit to be to be selected for, uh, for deploying your uh, cluster onto the OU. So the reason why we recommend uh, deploying your cluster to the OUs will is simply based for management. So it will be easier to run your CSPM on OUs rather than on individual clusters or cloud accounts. So for this instance, I'm going to select the D9K8S lab uh, OU. Select next. And I will be asked to run these commands using Helm to deploy the agent which will be running on your cluster to send information back to Cloud Guard platform. So I'll copy the first command where I'm deploying for the checkpoint repo. As you can actually see, it is it already exists within the same configuration. I will go ahead and execute the second command, which is basically the actual deployment of the agent. We'll be removing some of this white space, executing the command. We will wait for the successful exit of the script. As you can see, the, the asset management agent has been deployed. Now let's go ahead and finish the onboarding from the Cloud Guard platform. With the asset being deployed, I would go ahead and click on next. And you can see the it has been a successful deployment. So I'd go ahead and click on finish. And you will see the cluster which has been onboarded and posture management is enabled by default. So now let's proceed on to the uh, cloud security posture management. 